The PBA does not know what to do. Jason Belmonte is running scared. Why watch another video of him or professionals like him showing their elite skills when you can watch me suck at bowling? Hello and welcome to week three of four for the month of January 2022nd edition of Watch Me Suck It Bowling from Gardner 10 Pins in Gardner, Massachusetts. So far, we're pretty much on our average with a 110 in game one and ever so slightly better with a 111 in game two. So how will this one go? Slightly better? The same? Worse? Let's find out. Game three, Freeman Bowling. Of course, due to this place playing loud music, most of the audio will be muted. There goes the ball. It's looking pretty good. And nine. Ball two. The good thing about the five pin is about 60% of the lane should do something. There goes the ball. And not along the 60% we need. We're stuck at nine. For those of you who love the pin setters, here's the AMF setting down a fresh set of 10. And there you go. So far, a 9 is the best start we've had. Here we go. There's the pitch. It's looking pretty good. And a hair thin, but we got the strike anyway. So far, this is the best two-frame start we've had. We got a 9 and 1, which is the best start we've had. And then a strike in 2. We're at 19 with 2 El Stinko the bonus balls. What will they add up to? Let's find out. There goes the ball. It's way off to the left. And we get six. About 20% of the lane will get you a spare. 80% should get at least something. There goes the ball. It's way off to the right. And that is not going to help. Six. So far, it's mostly been a pretty decent run. The six kind of hurt a little bit. There goes the ball. It's off to the left. And only three. Ball two. This is a very makeable spare. We just got to throw the right-handed strike ball. There it goes. Looking pretty good. And spare. These two frames were a little less spectacular, but decent. I mean, the six and three kind of hurt, which also made the fill and strike. But then a spare and four. So far, we're at 41 with El Stinko the bonus ball. What will the bonus be? Let's find out. Here's the windup. There's the pitch. It's off to the left. And seven. Ball two. The mini rail. About 80% of the lane will get us something. There goes the ball. It's looking pretty good. Hair thin, but we got the spare again. What will the bonus be this time? Let's see if it's any better. There goes the ball. It's a bit off to the left. And look what we got again. Ball two. Well, we're staring at the same mini rail as we did previously. There goes the ball. This time it's way off to the right. We barely nick one for eight. So far, it's still not too bad of a game. We got a spare in five, the first ball knocking down seven, making the fill for the fourth frame. And then an eight and six, again, first ball knocking down seven, making that fill, 73. This is a pretty good game. Dare we say it might even be comparable to average skill. There goes the ball. It's a hair off to the left. Thin. Nine. Ball two. The three pin. Another centralized pin. 40% of the lane should get it. There goes the ball. It's looking pretty good. And we do get it. For me, ball one, stick out. What will the bonus be this time? There's the wind-up. There's the toss. It's off to the left. And 
six. Two. That's a very tough spare to get. So at least 70% of the lane will get something. There goes the ball way off to the left where the 70% ain't. And we're stuck with the six. Things went downhill a little bit. We got the spare in seven, but then only a six and eight. Fortunately, because it's a spare, it's a fill, which helps a little bit. We're at 95. For nine by one. Let's see if we can keep the momentum going. More on the higher end. There goes the ball. It's looking pretty good. And strike. Let's frame ball one to us to go. What will they add up to? This could be a big finish. Let's find out. There goes the ball. It's a hair to the left. Thin, but we still got a strike. That's a double. Two stinkos. We are in overtime to finish up the game. This is also for the turkey. There's the windup. There's the pitch. It's looking pretty good. And no. Nine. Respectable game. There may be no turkey, but this is a very strong finish. There goes the ball. It's looking pretty good. And we pick it up. Now that is a strong finish. And it actually puts me in average skill ability. So we got a strike in nine. And then another strike in ten. And then during overtime, the first ball only knocked down nine. Short of a turkey making 19 fill for frame 9, getting us to 124, picking up the spare in the second ball, giving a 10 fill for the strike in number 10, making the score a 144. Can we do even better next week? Or are we going to be back to normal? Or will we repeat? Who knows? That wraps up week three of four for the month of January 2022's edition of Watch Me Suck at Bowling from Gardner Ten Pins in Gardner, Massachusetts. This is George F551 saying hope you enjoy and have a good one.